Hey guys, this is Gloria. So, um, you guys know that I created these um, painted vases on yesterday, and I actually put these in the oven, even though it didn't state um, that it was oven safe. I put it in the oven anyway on 350. Um, what I did was I put them on a baking sheet and, you know, face up like this, and I allowed these to heat up with the oven. And I left them in there on 350 for 30 minutes. And when they came out, guys, they are the paint is completely adhered to the glass, which is really cool because I thought that this was gonna burst in my oven or something. I wasn't sure what to expect, but it did a great job with adhering the paint to it. So that is one. Um, this is the white one with the doily on it with the little butterflies on the sides. And then this is the purple one that I love and it has the purple flower on there and it also has the purple lace on there. So I had a few questions about the paint um, and uh, what, um, what kind of paint it was and where you could find it. I found my paint and my stencils together in uh, the paint aisle and my Michaels had a Martha Stewart section where they had all the stencils hanging at the top plus they had the um, paints hanging, uh, not hanging, but in the bottom. And they had the gloss, the transparent, um, they had the gloss, opaque, gloss transparent. Um, as you can see, this one here is um, pink, but it's a glass paint gloss transparent. So this is a gloss, but this is a little bit more see-through. So we're going to use that today because I used the opaque um, yesterday. Um, this one is gloss opaque in black. Um, I also got the purple, and these have names. This is called um, Hydrangea Purple. And the black is called Beetle Black. The pink is called Pink Hyacinth, I don't know, whatever that, however you pronounce that, um, it's pink. And then this one is called Pool, and it's the blue that I used. Um, oh, and I also have this one, um, which is a, a different color blue, and it's called Greek Tile. So all of these here are all, um, I'm sorry, all of those there are all gloss opaque and just the pink one is the transparent. So I wanted to share with you guys how I did the transparent. So what I have here is just a simple bowl that I got from the dollar store. It was sold with a plastic lid on it. This bowl actually says dishwasher safe, oven safe. I washed it just a little bit, like rinsed it out with water. So I didn't use like really soap on it, but you're supposed to use soap. You're also going to need um, a paper towel. You're going to need more than one if you're going to wash it and then dry it out. But you need, definitely need a paper towel for your alcohol. And speaking of alcohol, um, I have just some regular white rubbing alcohol. And then I have um, some masking tape. And I have my stencil. And this is just the rubber. This is called a um, handle squeegee. And it's, it's rubber but it's kind of, you know, malleable, I guess. And it allows you to drag the paint across whatever you need to drag it across. But it's still kind of firm. Um, if you don't have this, because these in a set, I believe, cost $12.99. But like I said, I got them for 30% off plus the 20% off because all the Martha Stewart stuff was on sale. Um, but if you don't have that, just use, this is like a um, finish line winter circle card. And it's really flexible and it works the same way. A cre old credit card or gift card works the same way. So just use something like that. And what I found is um, you have to use a stencil that kind of um, fits on whatever you want to put it on. Like this is a round bowl, but it's kind of graduate graduated because if you can tell, the top part of this bowl is not you know straight with the bottom it kind of goes in a slight uh, tad bit so if you try to use some of the bigger like I wanted to use the doily lace around here but it, it won't adhere I don't know it just won't stick down like I needed to so instead of like giving myself a headache I'm just going to use the smaller one here and hope that it works so I'm going to just do this on film and hopefully it comes out like we needed to so I'm just going to put um, some alcohol on this um, napkin 
and I'm just going to rub the area really good where I want my stencil to go. And then I'm going to try my best, 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 best not to touch, um, not to touch, I'm just drying it up, but not to touch where I just rubbed it at. So that's going to be my front. And so next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the stencil. Now the stencils are reusable. They're adhesive back. But mine's, you know, I've used it a bunch of times. As you can see all that different color paint and stuff on there. So I'm just going to pick this up and just lay this across where I want it to go. So it's up to you how you want it to be situated on there. You can make it really neat. You can make it however you want to make it. Um, this doesn't quite fit on here. But we're going to try it anyway and see how it comes out, okay? Um, so I just put it on there and I'm kind of just smoothing it down as much as I can. And if this was a new stencil, it would really stick to this real good. But it's not a new stencil, but it's still doing pretty good with sticking. But you do want to rub it out because you want to make sure that all of your air bubbles are out. And like I can tell right here that, you know, it's it's probably going to cause me a little bit of problems because I can feel kind of where the air bubbles are but I can't really help that only because of the graduation of the of the side of this um, bowl so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little bit of masking tape you can use washi tape um, any low tack tape that you may have sitting around just to kind of give you an extra hand in holding holding your stencil down you don't have to do this part it's completely up to you um, I definitely wouldn't buy the Martha Stewart um, stenciling tape it costs like 12 bucks I believe and to me it's just like masking tape so I mean it's up to you so I got that taped on on the sides and this is how it looks so next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, grab my pink paint and it's up to you how you apply it I saw some people apply it directly to whatever they were about to um, I'm sorry guys I'm taking this um, plastic off I should have took this off before I started filming but um, um, I was gonna say you can either use a um, a, uh, a dabber some people use dabbers you could use um, a uh, um, squeegee like I have or a credit card and then the other thing that I was going to say is you could use a palette like I use one of my old um, stamp blocks and I just put paint on here in order to use it and that's especially good when you're using a dabber because you can dab your paint on here and then dab it on your stencil um, but for now I'm going to use a squeegee the same way that I did yesterday so I'm just going to put some um, paint right here on the edge and I hope that I'm in frame nope so I'm going to put paint on the edge here and that's about all you need let me see if I can focus this a little bit better and then all you're going to do is just drag this right across here and it doesn't take much paint and remember um, this one is the um, transparent paint or what they called um, yeah transparent gloss paint so you're really not gonna see it very good sh you know show up like how um, the ones that I did yesterday how they showed up really really well now the good thing about this is if it doesn't come out the way that you want it to come out you have um, up until it actually dries all the way on there like you know unless you put it in the oven or unless you wait the 21 days for it to all cure you have that much time to actually go and either rinse this off or use it like a little scraper and scrape the paint off so that is it I put the transparent pink paint on there and now all you do is just take off your tape and you reveal your design and so because this it is pink and it's transparent you're not gonna see it very well um, especially on camera I can see it but you may not be able to see it very well um, but I will say like right here I got a little boo-boo right there so what I do is I use some q-tips and I just clean that up with a q-tip just clean it on up and like I said as long as you don't bake that on there then it's not on there you can even take your finger and rub it on there 
but you want to make sure that you clean up any mistakes that you make before you um, before you bake it because once you bake it it's on there so I'm just gonna clean that up and that is it so that's my little design and like I said this is a transparent design so you're not going to be able to see it as good as you would see um, as good as you would see um, uh, the opaque so I think they both serve the purpose um, opaque is pretty neat because this gives it um, more like a um, what do you call it like when you um, engrave in, on glass or whatever I can't remember the name of it right now but that's what kind of look that it gives it it's a very you know faint kind of look and it's still cute, but I think I personally like um, the more opaque um, paints. So, I'm going to wash this off. And, um, because I don't want to keep this design on this bow. I want this, I want it to be more um, opaque. So, I'm going to wash this off and I'm going to use the black opaque um, uh, paint. And then I'll be right back to share with you guys what it looks like. But I'm going to do the same technique, okay? I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I um, washed the stencil and I washed the glass again and just rinsed off the um, the transparent uh, rolls that I put on there because I really didn't like it as much for this project. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the opaque black and so that is this one and they call it um, beetle black. And so doing it the same way, I'm just going to put um, a little bit of black paint on the edge and I guess I should have washed my squeegee too but that's okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull the ink right across where my design is and so you just keep pulling it on across it's really simple. Um, add more paint as you go if you need to. But it really doesn't use that much um, paint at all. But you just want to make sure that it covers your entire design. And that is it. So again all you do is just take off the masking tape that you put on if you use masking tape and then you're going to gently remove your stencil and that is your design so I like that so that is my design and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my stencil and you have to wash your stencil right away because you don't want the paint to set inside your stencil. Um, it's best that you have maybe a little bowl of water close by. You don't want to touch your design at all, even though I messed up right here. Again, I'm just going to take just um, a little bit of my, um, my paper towel and I'm just going to clean it up where I messed up okay and then that's it and as long as you don't bake that on there then it's not set so I can go and rinse this off if I want but I'm gonna keep that like it is because I really like it um, and so that's it I'm gonna put it in the oven let it bake and it'll bake on there and then I have this um, pedestal that I bought from the Goodwill and it's really heavy I don't know this um, I don't know what it's called but I only paid a dollar for it at Goodwill but I plan to put it on a pedestal like that. And I think that's so pretty and so elegant. Um, so yeah, that is how it's going to look once it all dries and I put some E6000 for the base. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope you guys um, understood this tutorial. And if you still have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I will get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care, guys. Bye.